<laughs> it's just shiny as fuck. Look at yeah, it. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I think it was. Yeah, it was Vince Carter who was talking about that incident because I think they were playing in one of the games that he had that shit sprayed on, and then he was saying like he owned up. Saw to booze. It. Booze came out with a haircut. He's like, damn, when you get your hair, and then about halfway through the game, he's like, something ain't right. And this shit was like coming off. <laughs> You're listening to the Gather Step. Gather Step. Gather Step. Gather Step. Gather Step podcast featuring Trill Gene and Bait Boom Wall. I think uh, <laughs> Purdue. You, you and I are, are the only ones that didn't have Purdue in the Final Four. Yeah, I had them out with uh, against Duke. What about you? I had them out in the Elite Eight. I think. Still did pretty, they, pretty deep. Yeah. Did they lose? Yeah, they lost first. Only second time in history. 16 uh, seed. 16 a one seed. seed. Yeah. Wow. I think, I think COVID changed the landscape of college basketball. Give me your thoughts. Because, like, even when we watched Last Chance, you write a lot of these kids didn't have the opportunity to be looked at by scouts. Hmm. Uh, during like the peak COVID years. So like, I think a lot of good talent ended up going to like smaller schools. And then we saw, I think it was last, wasn't last year, another year that the 16th seed beat, beat the first seed or some shit. It was, it was a bunch of, it was, yeah, it was, it was good, something else, but yeah, there's a good amount of upsets. And I think that always, smaller yeah. schools are starting to get more talent, maybe just for this little bit of time. But I think that has a part of it. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think that could be a part of it. But there's, I mean, to be fair, there's this has been uh, more this year. I feel like than usual, yeah. Uh, especially in the crazy. first day or first two days. Well, right, think about 64. this: twenty twenty three, right? So twenty twenty, they're they're seniors now, right? Like or seniors and and juniors. Yeah. So if they were originally picked up like back then, I mean, college basketball is mainly. About the upperclassmen, especially in the, especially March Madness. So they're saying they had more time to develop because they had uh, red I, shirt. I think that they had the opportunity to go to a bigger school or had the talent to go to a bigger school, but because of COVID, they didn't get that opportunity. Yeah. And now they're at a smaller school and they stayed there and are now showing what they got. Can I give a totally uh, like opposite perspective? I think mm. it's a sheer eyeball test for me. If I see, hey man, I'm just saying, okay. Like if I see, if I see multiple, <laughs> multiple, <laughs> I was counting like at least six uh, just in the timeout. One wasn't uh, playing. Maybe he was redshirting, but there's at least six out of what a 15 man roster on Purdue. On Purdue, maybe even yeah. more. Um, FDU definitely had like at least one. They had one white guy that had these tats like Chet Hank. Hanks. Yeah. That was the only, and it was just the, <laughs> the rest of black dudes. And they were like, bro, they were wilding, like, in, like, they were happy, rightfully so. I'm happy yeah. for them. It they were like, in, they were trying to get a, yeah, trying to just be in the, the, the picture frame. And the report lady put her arm around the coach. <laughs> yeah. And Pam, Pam goes, hey, the coach was like Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, she said this. She said, hey, the coach looks like the mission from Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, if we can pull that up, man, FDU head coach. If we can't, that's fine. But, bro, like I was I was like, yo, she kind of I, I thought it was a woman at first. I was like, mm-hmm. this is a sexually ambiguous person. I was mm-hmm. like, I need to see. Uh, yeah. Tobin Anderson of Fairleigh Dickens. University, I believe only 12,000 in New Jersey versus Purdue he does. with 44. Oh my God. He, he has like the. <laughs> Damn. Wait, go to. He's like I, there's another, there was another picture that really looks like him. It was yeah. like right there from the side of <laughs> New York Post. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now that's. Bro. <laughs> that's like that kind of. Little that thing up. that they got going on over there in the small world. A Lannister always pays their debts. <laughs> always. All right. He was crazy. He of, was, this dude was talking fast as fuck. Hey, real talk. Best Game of Thrones uh, quote for you that you remember. Go. Um, 
Bruh. Fuck. Uh, I don't know, dude. I mean, Can like, I what word? Your, like, least favorite? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, your least brand going, why do you think I've been here all this time? <laughs> yeah. Pissed me off so much. <laughs> or so even much. like... Or even like what what fucking Dracaris <laughs> like that shit. Oh, that shit was you lit. know what? I, you know my favorite. It was in Dothraki, but he's like a uh, crown for the king or whatever. Then he yeah, pours yeah, the molten the sh- molten gold over his fucking head. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that was, was so many. Oh, there's a couple too, man. Um, with Daenerys especially, but yeah, that's he looks like it. Lance shows pays their debts. That's another one there. I remember. Yeah, yeah, he's got that, got that small person look. Yeah, bro. Yeah. If and it, their whole team was, I'm just gonna say it, man. Hey, y'all were hooping up there. FDU deserved to win. I was happy, and yeah. I had Purdue coming out of the uh, against Duke. So, yeah, I had, I was, I was, I was cheering for them too, but I don't really care about the bracket anymore. It's just like I want to see the fucking. Underdogs win, and there's so many of them, fan. right? There's so many of them, like we're what we're talking about. But maybe um, one in one year, Murray State, right? We're talking uh, about Mr. Ja Morant, and today, mm-hmm. three seventeen, March seventeen, St. Patrick's Day, second day of the NCAA tournament. We could take a look at maybe Ja's old tweets or old Instagram photos, actually. Yeah, so oh this came gosh. out. So, so just can to we give back backstory. up real quick, Sneep? Sneep, sorry. Uh, can we go to the? Yeah, let's just read this part. Did he? Did this not change the profile? No, uh, not, yeah, no it's, it's all go been ahead, the same. Jake. Yeah. So, read well, shit. before before I read it, I just want to say like okay. this came out on Twitter. Like they found his old Instagram account, um, and we're gonna show like because he recently just had his interview with uh, Jalen Rose. Right. Saying, you know, I'm not about that. I'm, I want to show you who Ja really is. And someone went out there and found who Ja really is since 2013. Um, this is his bio on Instagram. Follow me. I follow back and follow me on Twitter. <laughs> extend at extended clip 12. And my babe, Obey, Obey Airy. Hashtag taken. Short King Ruler. Short kid ruler. Yeah, short kid ruler. Yeah, extended clip twelve. I don't know how old how old is he in twenty thirteen. Okay. He'd be like my age. Well, he'd be like the same age. I think he'd be a little bit younger than me. So he'd be like sixth grade, I think. Sixth or seventh grade. Damn, bro. And this is peak like that time. Like just looking at the Instagram filters and the poses, the I mean look at it, dude. He was doing a light skin. He's not. Well, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Right? Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't. I don't think he. Well, he he definitely looks like it with the Instagram filters on. Um, but yeah, we've got some. Got there's some legendary. We got bangers. Legendary. <laughs> Let's go through uh, one by one. in here. Yeah. Yeah. I, and and another funny thing. This is all between in 2013. I think it was March 3rd and like March 23rd. He had this Instagram Ooh. for like 20 days. And was posting like crazy, then it was off of that shit. <laughs> Maybe he was and, watching March Madness. Yeah, there's nothing to be found on the at extended clip 12 underscore, yeah. by the way, except for like old tweets at him from his homies. They choose wisely. That's why I was chosen. A lot of this is like rap lyrics. <laughs> ah, wait, wait, wait. Go back real quick. Look at it's that. Smile. Smile. <laughs> you go, he puts an H after every M. Got me smiling. Got me. Got a story. Got a story. Cool. Like, they, he's taken straight just a bunch of photos at the same time. <laughs> I'm still, still in, in this bitch. In this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Guys. see my lips, no bow. <laughs> uh, let, let me live. <laughs> there's his, there's his uh, middle school sweetheart. But a bitch got but a bit wait go go back go back. A bitch gonna be a bitch, so I'm just gonna let her be. And like the <laughs> next two posts were about how he loves his bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Cause disrespect me, I black his eye. That no lie, 
Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> like a bar. Be school and D's. Can't say it. That's I. This is my favorite one personally because this is just. <laughs> I, oh, I holding the Jump door out. open while we drive. <laughs> Ooh, he's so badass. Damn. So for those like listening and tuning in on the podcast, right, and can't see these pictures, mm. uh, it's literally just an Instagram filtered picture of him holding the door, a car door open while it's driving, oh, no. and the the caption is, "I I holding the door open while we driving." <laughs> It's just he's he's just a bad kid, bro. I think he just got in trouble a lot. Like, hey man, he's holding the door open while they're driving. <laughs> Such a bad kid. Was, T shit. yelling at his ass. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at the view, though. Where are they? Is he in a fucking desert? That's a field, in Nebraska. Nebraska. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's where that's he grew a field, up. Middle no. of nowhere. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. He's from like South Carolina, I think. Okay. Yeah. Rent life or die. Fresh cut. That's a, not a fresh cut. Maybe at the time it was. The dead <laughs> has arisen <laughs> with just the light skinned face. <laughs> was, <laughs> wait, was that like Easter or something? I'm different. I'm different. Me and my sister been play fighting. <laughs> what? Let me swag, do the talk, and my eyes take off their clothes. Fuck your best friend. <laughs> Damn, you're probably like, Jai, no good for you. Got hacked by his, his GS. You know what? Speaking of this, when I went to the Twitter and I found like all the old tweets that was tweeting at him, it was straight ladies. He was a ladies' man. Bro. He had hella girls around. Are there any notable replies from him on any of these? No, I haven't looked that deep. I don't think that they did that back then. I don't even think they had replies back then. <laughs> oh, wow. Need a tape up. 2013, bro. This was 10 years ago. On Instagram, straight flexing. Okay, here we go. I can make cocaine. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> yeah, it says I, right? Because right now yeah. it kind of looks like it just says can make cocaine. Yeah, yeah, I can no, make. It's, it does say I. Oh, my God, bro. Just, like, yeah. I wonder is this a this has is this a lyric? I mean it can be taken from many places. It's not it's probably a lyric. It, to he's be honest. quoting the movie Blow, obviously. Yeah. J Mo. J Mo. I hi. That's what I was okay. That's what I was gonna say, bro. This explains all. All of these Instagram posts, especially the one with him opening opening the door, you know, mm. if he was just high, he's just high as fuck he's just all like, the time. Yeah, bro. He maybe he's not. I don't know. I wonder if T has found this Instagram account because I doubt that he knew about this shit back then. Nah, he probably just seen it right now. T didn't give yeah. a fuck. P was T like, was damn. doing some shit. High doing high some dirt. Son, are you serious? <laughs> School. Yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Trash. As a Cowboys fan, hell no. Yeah. Ugh. Who gonna Who love, love you, like you like me? Nobody. <laughs> this gotta be a lyric, too. In Earth Science, gotta be a lyric. <laughs> focus. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just like, focus. <laughs> That's crazy. People are commenting on this shit. It's just gonna blow up even more. Yeah, it has like 25k. Like yeah, so, I'm about to follow this shit, bro. Fuck. Yeah. Clemson on my shit. Oh, big Clemson represent. Clemson. Money bags. Money bag, See, yeah. now, th- the thing about every single one of these pictures is, like, it's a cap cut straight out of, like, 2013, like, 2012 through 2014, like, yeah. memories built into my brain. Every single picture is exactly how every other picture was. So he's not really doing anything bad, right? He's he's saying like these funny captions or whatever, but he was just literally just being a kid. Yeah, so, he's being a kid, but it should, this is funny as hell, bro. I'm like so funny. Right I'm not good cushion it's alcohol. Hilarious. Yeah, I'm on that with the Brooklyn Nets hat. I'm on that good cushion alcohol. That song was a banger. I, he's like, well, how old's how old's a sixth grader? Like twelve. Right, I think they're younger than that. Twelve, eleven, eleven ish. Yeah. 
so I, it's, it's like hate, the same picture. I hate Monday. Yeah, they're just different. They're just different he filters. Hate, he hates Monday, bro. <laughs> I'm away to school, but I hate Monday. <laughs> hey, man. He just trying to pass some time. Bad yeah, girls he, ain't he, no good, and the good girls ain't no fun. Ooh. Yeah, another lyric. <laughs> Young <Right>. boys fit. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Uh, Cooling. He had some. Oh, I love my baby. Shoddy again. Hey, shoddy. <laughs> and he's just I like the, this one. This is yeah. this is a good one. That's a good one. Ask a he was hooping. Stops. He was probably killing motherfuckers when oh, he was in this grade. Ball is All life. his life. That's, yes, sir. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's a saving grace. Or else he would have been. Who is that? Random. <laughs> Dewana. Dewana. It's the one. That's the best friend. Dewana. That's the Dewana. best friend. Yeah, she be. Is that young thug? She, she knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the cop? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Lucky. They're saying she looks like yeah, Lucky. Yeah. Hold on, go back. <laughs> Is that Lucky? <laughs> Is that my Bro, Lucky? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Are we live on Twitch? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yep. I was just checking. <laughs> I didn't share it on Twitter. This is like peak. That's peak great. Chief Chief era. You had John ja Morant looking like this. You had white dudes looking like this. You had Mexican dudes looking like this. Hella fucking Filipino dudes looking like this. Hold on, go back to that. And we're in the true religions. Tim's. Uh, Tim's, bro. This is like. With this pose, like white boys were throwing this shit up with their with their Fendi belt. Hey, being sober. That's yeah, crazy. This is bro. two pistols up. You know what it is? Shit early. Oh, gang. People were on, on, on Chief Keef yet. Feeling like a bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's this, okay. one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, I just want to fuck your best friend for one night, one night only, only. Dot 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 dot. dot. I wonder if there's no shots there. Are he's serious? Is it a is that a song song lyric? It has to be a song. Most of these are different yeah. lyrics. Only, 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 has only. To be a dot, part, dot. part of a part of a song. We just forgot he wrote it twice because he's high Damn. in AF. He is blazed, drug probably. money can buy you can buy what you want. Look at his eyes. They're like glazed. Yeah, he was getting high as hell in sixth grade. He looked like he put a filter on that shit. He made <laughs> no it white. Yeah, he put a filter too. Ain't nobody greater. <laughs> Damn, he got a whole camera roll, but he alternates sometimes the same days. Yeah. He just do put his head, you know, his hat back. Mm-hmm. Like it's this a was, different. This was eyes. his first his first post. I can't Ain't nobody greater. Anymore. This was yeah, his first awesome. Post. Legit, man. I like it more. They're saying TV mounted on the wall with a DVR. That's a John TiVo, Wick. man. That's a TiVo. That is, they say he's rich. I think that's a TiVo, bro. He's rich. This is definitely a TiVo. Damn, bro. Well, I mean, I think this is one of the things that ja, that if John ja Morant could come back from what's going on right now and have a killer playoffs, he might be um, might be a great year for him, man. But, yeah. I think he might be a little distracted, so I think he's going to really play bad in my opinion. Well, speak, well, distractions are just the beginning. Like, that's just, I think he's well beyond distracted at this point, where you have Jalen Rose giving him an interview, <laughs> essentially like an intervention of like, what the fuck's wrong with you uh, on okay. ESPN. And I think we have the video, but man, it's just, it's tough that they did him like that. Like, we can we should be able to make a bigger deal of this because we're like we like the drama, but yeah. ESPN man shit. And Jalen right. Rose, you let's take a look. Shotgun Willies, I've been there. You are holding. <laughs> He's been there, and we both know how dangerous that can be. Whose gun were you holding? Well, the gun wasn't mine. No, it's not who I am. I don't condone and. You know, any type of violence, um, but I take, you know, full responsibility, you know, for my actions, um, made a you know, bad mistake. Um, and I can see uh, the image, you know, that I, I painted, you know, over myself, you know, with 
my recent mistakes, but you know, in the future, um, I'm gonna show everybody who. Jairus. It's just shiny as fuck. Look at yeah, it. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I think it was. Yeah, it was Vince Carter. that was talking about that incident because I think they were playing in one of the games that he had that shit sprayed on, and then he was saying like <laughs> he owned up. Saw to booze. It. Booze came out with a haircut. He's like, damn, when you get your hair, and then about halfway through the game, he's like, something ain't right. And this shit was like coming off. <laughs> Yeah, man, shit. You <laughs> look like Astro Boy. <laughs> yeah. He needs the big red boots. I mean, yeah, use. look at him. <laughs> I gotta use some painter's tape on that, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a great <laughs> line, dude. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Just pull it over. <laughs> bro, look at his side profile hairline, bro. It looked like someone just, like his daughter did that shit, bro. Like, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Just painted that shit up. <laughs> Yeah, he's got the avatar arrow with his <laughs> side of his head. It's like greater than. Oh, man. Uh, but look at the sideburns. Like, bro. Yeah. They tried no, to do a little off. bit. They tried to yeah. do a little bit to try to make a beard, but like, just nah, tell us no, no, I didn't do that off. <laughs> it's they were just, it they, stops. They said, yeah, it stops. They thought about a beard, but like, nah, <laughs> the top look crazy right now. The beard, too, would look even more ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Who look at that, look at that like one, that. the, the song, sa- salmonline.com. Right there. Like, shiny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the salmon line. <laughs> the little <laughs> divider mm-hmm. on a, a piece of salmon. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can say that technology has advanced from this. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> man. Carlos uh, Boozer. That's terrible, bro. But, <laughs> yeah, back back to Jaw though. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I I I often think about like, what if the situation was Kyrie? Because like, I mean, Kyrie wouldn't pull out a gun, probably. But I don't think Kyrie would bow down and go down onto a Dangerous. interview and just be like, you know, I'm really sorry. Kyrie, yeah, Kyrie would go shoot someone or some just to prove prove it's I, it's all right. This was a really good move with Ja and his team. You know, I would give a lot of credit to this. It is a bit corny, but I think it has to be done. It's kind of just like damage control at this yeah. high of a level of Nike being involved, the team, your sponsors. I mean, there's a couple of people that dropped them, right? What was one uh, sponsor that dropped Gold Bond or something? I don't know. No, uh, it was. Um... <laughs> Oh. I, I know it's I know it's not gold, but I'm just kidding. But I, I forgot can't what. Even remember. I think it was like a food. A was it a food? Gatorade? Gatorade, right? It was, it was something like that. It was yeah, like, something you know, like that. It was Look at him. beverage. He got the double Nike. He he. Yeah. They told him, "Hey, pull pull your hair back instead of wearing it down. Mm. Like look clean, bro. Like look clean. So look at well, him. sober. And he came out of like he did this as soon as he came out of his his program. And 10 days in the program, he says, I'm good. Like, I'm fixed. I don't know what the fuck they was doing over there, but I don't think that that could be true. Like, and I, I you know, I, I don't want it to be true. I want him to go do some wild shit again. I mean, I really think um, he's going to, I, okay, I'm pulling for John. I want him to like do well, you know, but I think he's just, he's going to be out of the trouble that he's been in recently, but I think his game is going to suffer, man. I don't think he's built like that. I think he's going to like fuck up or some shit in the playoffs. Might be an easy exit. He's got to, he's got to, he's got to like ramp up his activity now to get back into NBA shape. He said he didn't play no basketball at the facility or whatever it was. Oh yeah, for sure. He wasn't hooping. He was just chilling, maybe. Just, just cooling. Yeah. Cooling with a bunch of addicts. And then he had to do the circle talk and say what he was addicted to. And it was like it- addicted to being a drug. <laughs> like <laughs> I like being a gangster, bro. Extended clip twelve <laughs> yeah. has entered the chat. <laughs> Not my extended clip twelve. Not my extended <laughs> clip. <laughs> it's not. Wait, what does that even? I don't even know, man. I don't like who's. Uh, 
he's not gonna snitch, but like I wonder who's whose gun it was though. It was like his homeboy. If it's, if, his but if his homeboys, if his yeah. homeboys had it, then he would. They were traveling with him, like, and they had it with him. So like that's what you do. Are though, they are they on the NBA plane too? Like if because that would you know, still be against the rules. It don't even matter, bro. Like I, I mean, it, yeah, it would be against the rules one, but this is legit though. Like it's like in the Sopranos, it's like Italian film. Someone other than the boss always takes the hit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You just be like, he was mine, or yeah. more like it's more like the down. wire, I guess. Yeah, just let mm-hmm. lay it down. What do they call it? Do a bid? No, I forgot what they 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 call it. There's something in like the Sopranos that they call it, like a lay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what you said, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta go lay down. Yeah. Yeah. Go go account for all the murders that the whole gang has done. <laughs> Just all on you. Say I was the hitman and all the murders are solved. Everybody's off the hook. I hope he does That's what they did in the wire. Damn, sure. you're watch you're watching the wire? How do you like the wire? Hey man, it's it's good. And I don't think that it is up to the caliber that some people claim it is, but it's very good. It's very good. Who, who is the John Moran of the wire? Oh, you know what? I would say. So I don't know his fucking name, so I can't tell you, but he works on the low rises like he's not a big time player at all, but he thinks he is. And uh, <laughs> you know, that's that reminds me of of Ja. He, I think he probably gets to the point where he's a little bit bigger, like in th- season three, he's a little bit bigger character. Yeah. But season one for the one for people that are listening to him, are trying to figure it out it's the dude that kind of looks like Chris Brown. I don't know his name. <laughs> he's not a he's not a real player. He ain't player. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, that was John Moran. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have to talk about him too much anymore. Yeah. Because it's just been saturated with John Moran, and uh, hope that he just gets back to playing basketball. Hey, John Moran! Shout out to you, bro. I hope you make it in life, and I hope you go far. Cheers. Summertime, go wild. Hit up the get the Casamigos. Get Come on back. a yacht. Come back make to Shaka sure, Willies. Yeah, I make sure it. somebody has a phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, some other beef. Uh, we're like a tea spilling co- uh, podcast in a way. I but know. She we got your name. Bad Bunny and Devin Booker. Because uh, Babon. Babon, Baboni is now with uh, Kendall. Oh, who, um, had some time with uh, Devin Booker. I think it's I. I don't know how many time to- how many NBA players been with Kendall, but I don't think that she's been with too many people other than NBA players. I'll say that. Bad Bunny and Devin Booker are beefings, and uh, Bad Bunny says the sun is hotter in Puerto Rico than in Phoenix, and she knows it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bad buddy, bro. Uh, and then D-Book, yeah. D-Book replied to that post. He said he worried about another man again. Yes. Perfect timing. Yes. Yeah, right before the playoffs. Let's get you distracted as fuck about some bro, women. Bro, fuck the Suns, bro. Fuck these guys, man. Yeah. Fuck Booker. I didn't even know Bad Bunny. I, yo, it's totally cool, but I thought Bad Bunny didn't even like... I think he's like bi, I think, right? That's yeah, I he thought said. he was gay for a little bit. But, I think he's just bi, he said. Yeah, that's awesome, he's just, bro. He's just Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> Puerto Rican. <Yeah. laughs> Do- Dominican Republic. Yeah. I know black papi, I'm Dominican. I know black. <laughs> a Dominican. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is uh this is a unique beef. We don't see too, weird. We don't see too many beef with the NBA players over a woman. Should be that uh, funny. The last but. time that I can I can remember like a clear beef over a woman was Malik Beasley and that Broncos player got in a fight in the uh, lobby of a hotel. Oh yeah! But if you had to say, there's a there's a famous woman celebrity, and there's a musician and a basketball player beefing. I think you could probably guess the last name of the woman. Yeah. That's that's a good. That's point. a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way to put it. Well, it's one of two. It's either Jenner or Kardashian. That's exact. That's that's yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, yeah that's yeah. a good way to put it. But man, hey, that's cool though. I I would have never expect this couple to happen at all. Kendall and Bad Bunny. That's kind of like I don't know. 
it's a win for both, in my yeah. opinion. You know, because <laughs> both good publicity for both. Kendall needs to reach more Latinos and and Bad Bunny's ready to make more money by fucking yeah. with a Jenner Kardashian. So it's mutualistic. Yeah, I wonder how long <laughs> till like Kendall starts having kind of darker shade of skin. It's kind of like it's just how it goes with the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, <laughs> Chloe, especially. Yeah, Chloe. Hey, man, she was always OJ's daughter, though. So that's. Uh, what it <laughs> it's too. Come on, bro. She's six four, uh, right? Or no, she's like who, five who, nine. Chloe. She's like five <laughs> nine, I think, bro. Hey, yeah, Google. Six, how tall is Chloe Kardashian? <laughs> uh, Sorry, I don't have any information about oh, that. Dumbass bitch, don't know shit. <laughs> I can look it up. You can type that into Google and find it out. Yeah. What the fuck? Chloe, yeah, I want I wanted our audience to hear it. She is uh five ten. Damn. Yeah. Yo, she, bro. She's tall as fuck it. She's taller than Bowie, see, Isaiah Thomas. Courtney is five feet and and uh Kim is five three. Mm-hmm. Let's just put that into context. Well, how tall Chloe, is o- OJ? Let's see OJ height. Six six two. He was a running back, though. I don't think he's that tall. Hey, he's how six, tall was he's Ro- six one? Okay, how tall was Rob Kardashian? Rob is six. Yeah. Then it's not. It's it's. We gotta it's, see. Make sure it's not but fat it's, Rob. But, but if Rob is five ten, then it could be right. Let's see. Okay, this is the fat Rob is five eleven. Uh, Rob Kardashian dad. <laughs> Five <laughs> seven. Yeah, bro. It was well, OJ's he's a short daughter, king, bro. bro. Oh it was my OJ. god. See? You see? Yeah. See now this is funny. I just searched Rob Kardashian dad height. People also search for Rob Kardashian, Chris Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Chloe, OJ Simpson, mm. Courtney Kardashian. That, bro, Chris was part of the Hollywood Swingers Club, bro. Straight up, man. She was hey, Chris was like a what is it called? Socialite. You mm. know, she she was, you know, a, a lawyer's wife. So she was there for the events, especially in California, and they knew OJ, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I mean she definitely she ain't the same as the others. <laughs> she's she's gotten a lot of surgery to try to kind of fit in, but she ain't the same. Uh, yeah, she's not. Like she's not ugly. She's not even before this. Like she wasn't ugly. It was just like Kim Kardashian. She's not Courtney ugly. Like, she's not ugly. She's not ugly. She has different. a different. Yeah, she's a different yeah. beauty. You yeah. know, and that's okay. You know, you, she's she's definitely definitely something. Different. <laughs> <laughs> OJ's bro. She's OJ's kid, bro. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. At me. Um, and then we go. <laughs> Moving on from that, we well, I speaking uh, here. I'll just go with another transition because I I'm always good with the transitions. Yeah. Beef. Everybody mm-hmm. has beef with this guy, and that's Dylan Brooks. And Dylan Brooks has beef with everybody as well. He has wait. Oh wait, this is Jamal. Both oh, the other one. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, I yeah, we'll get to that one next. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> But yeah, Dylan oh, Brooks, whoa. another Canadian, Dylan Brooks. See, God, just so good with this. He's Canadian? Yeah. Oh, um, he's like the opposite of all Canadians. He's Dylan very Brooks, rude. Yeah, he is the opposite. He's got he got fined thirty five thousand dollars for what he did Hunter here. Saved it, and then Dylan what? Just pushed he him down. down. Yeah, ran into the cameraman. Canada, he's continues from- <laughs> to push him. <laughs> he's from Bro, Quebec. He's- he watches yeah. hockey. Yeah. Look at spe- him. I wonder if he speaks Quebecois. Yeah, he decked him, bro. Put him in the yeah. fucking wall. Yeah. Well, <laughs> at first, it's, it's like he just kind of had a lot of momentum, but then it's like not clearly. Yeah, he just fully pushing. stopped. He fully stopped before he fucking like stopped and pushed the dude. Right. He's like, yeah, he's like, anger problems. He looked, he looked back. He looked back, bro. Like, yeah. yo, it like, wasn't like my bad or anything. He's like, huh, fuck it. Yeah. Bitch ass. You were in my way. Yeah. <laughs> you were in my bro. way. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. He's just, he's, you know, that's why everybody has beef with him. And you know what? Shout out Draymond Green, even though Draymond Green also got issues. Draymond Green uh, was this. Exactly. Draymond thing. Green was this. Yeah, look at him. They're carbon they're carbon like, they're, they're, they're fighting. Like you said, it was like two dudes trying to prove that they're not ass. 
<laughs> but it's, it's more and more proving that they're not each other because they are like, bruh, they both got this problem with anger. That's why yeah, he's they, angry. Look right here. This is why he's angry. He almost had the ball. Can't hold oh, on to it. Sucked. <laughs> Took it, out, took it out on the crew. Nice. <laughs> like that camera guy, every time that every time he went to make a shot, the camera guy's like, oh shoot. I, oh, darn. Missed the shot. Dressed like shit too. I'll throw that out there. Oh, He's got yeah. the worst fits in the league. His up outfits, there with Coos, bro. Man. Coos yeah. is even better than this dude. Yeah. Yeah, he, thinks he, thinks he's he's, he thinks he's a big time. He thinks he's a superstar. He's kind of like Patrick Beverly in that way. He's definitely Patrick. somebody that thinks that their life is a movie. Yeah. And he's like the, the, he's the main character character. Yeah. Look at him. He's got main character disease. Weird. That's tough, man. Fuck, fuck Dylan Brooks. I don't really fuck with him. So. Never he's would. on my team. He's on my fantasy. Fantasy team. Oh, good luck. He sucks. Brother. He sucks, yeah. dude. I get negative <laughs> points for how many shots that fuck it chucks. I think that's why I'm losing. Uh, on to the other Canadian that we're talking about, Jamal Murray. Um, last night, yeah, last night in Detroit, getting heckled on the on the on the sidelines by some trash Detroit fans. Uh, they still calling out the Instagram shit from fucking three years ago, but <laughs> people are never gonna let that go. A peon? A peon. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Game of Thrones ass. Boy. That's awesome. That's worth the tickets. They all chill, the chill when Jokic gets over there. They all chill. Oh, was. <laughs> he Are you got calling him a peon? Yeah, that's why you get mad at that. It's like he's Jamie Lannister's in the fucking crowd. How about that Instagram? How about that Instagram? Like Harple Hempel? How about that yeah, Instagram? I think that he probably catches this like, every road game. Yeah, but I would have just been like, Harper Hempel. Hey. He's like, yeah, you see that? That thing? <laughs> you gay watching that. I was like, nah, I was watching your girl. Harper Hempel. I would just you jerk be trolling. Off to it? You jerk off to my dick. Harper oh, Hempel. Yeah. I would just be like that. I would just say those two words, bro. Oh, I would just troll. Nah, Man, that's, that's some trash ass behavior. I'm glad they got kicked out. But uh, I guess there was another. That's funny, though. That's funny. You it, think so? I, I seen well, dude. I seen it happens all the time. Yeah, it's part of being an athlete. I seen Luca get heckled, and sometimes he'll turn to the crowd and start saying some shit. But don't you think that? Like, what is he like, talking about? They're not funny though. Like the no, situation, they're not, they're not funny this at is, all. I think it'd be a lot funnier if they're actually funny. Nah, I think it's worth. Well, so are you saying it's funny, or you think is this is like worth it? Like, what are you talking about? No, I I'm saying if, I'm saying the people that are heckling, like if you're gonna heckle, bro, at least be funny. Don't bring up shit everybody knows about from fucking three years ago, and then also calling him a peon. Like what the fuck? <laughs> like that's the lamest fucking shit you could possibly call an NBA player. <laughs> that's so funny, bro. That's like no, no one would say it's, that. It's, it's funny as fuck, but it's like <laughs> I don't know. It's just like he's a, damn. he doubled down. He was like he's a peon. Then he said it loud. He's like he's a peon because he got a reaction. <laughs> Why well, did anyone say that, man? bro? Bro, <laughs> no, I think it's, this it's was... hilarious, but it's like, you know, I think <laughs> that it's it's, it's funny that uh, you know they're they're being serious, so like they're seriously saying pee on out there, bro. I it, 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 yeah, man. I mean, get, he gets it every day. I get that, man. That's 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 tough, bro. But. I mean, you just have to let that shit go, man. Like, you can't give it any life. You know, there, there's a lot of people that out there in the NBA that don't do this, you know. And mm -hmm. maybe he's just frustrated. Maybe it was the losing as of late beforehand, you know. I don't yeah. know. But the frustration is real, man. I get it. I get it. They chilled out once Jokic came over, though. They're like, yo, yeah. Jokic, chill, chill. They probably love Jokic. I don't want to call him a peon. What That's else so would you funny. call like, like from... I the fucking middle ages 
Your slurs are they? You're a uh, uh, dentured servant. <laughs> <laughs> You're a slave. Damn. Don't want to go out with that one. <laughs> I mean, that's what a peon is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't want to do that one. Screen your slave. (laughs) (laughs) It's essentially what I don't know. (laughs) You're right. It's so funny. But, bro, I'm not going to lie. If I was to heckle somebody and, like, I don't know, maybe like my friend was doing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just fun, you know? But I get it. It's disrespectful. I would never do it, but I might say something smart if I was that close. I'd be like, oh, bro, Apple. You know, really? If you look at me, that, I'll, that like Harper. I'll, I'll be like Harper. I, I, I'm wondering like what else you go because you got to go after him for something new though. Like, yeah, but you you shoot a three, it's just like Harper Hempel. Like I would just say like really like softly. Not, Not even three, aggressive. just like your girl or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just like Harper Hempel, and who knows if you know, you know, you know that's just gonna be. Yeah, it. but yeah, I mean, I wonder if they're okay. still together. Nah, uh, hell uh-huh. no. Nah. You don't think so? I mean, Hell like, no. I'm uh, I'm gonna look it up because this is important. I think Jamal Murray it could probably fucking a bunch of women. To be honest, he probably um, was like, Ooh, "I can't be in a relationship." See what happened? So they, Did not, you just search uh, Harper Hempel? No, I searched. I didn't want to pull up anything like that, so I just said, "Who was uh, Jamal Murray's girlfriend?" No girlfriend. It, it, as or? of eight days ago, it's still Harper Hempel, and they're as still of eight talking. days ago. Yeah, and they're still talking about the video. Wait, they're I still mean, together? They, yeah, they were together oh, since I like didn't... college. She yeah, played volleyball, volleyball, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know they're still together. That's hey, that's good. I wouldn't say that then if they're still together. I thought that was like someone he just like wasn't with anymore. That would be kind of messed uh, up. That's like someone talking about like your wife or like yeah, your girl. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what, what it was. I heard someone saying, I seen your girl sucking dick. Wait, here we go. Here's this is February so just, Eon thing. <laughs> well, to be honest, hey, I didn't know that. The, so, Jake, I could change my whole stance. I didn't know that they were still together. I thought they were like they're broken up already. Um, that makes I a can't, whole di- I can't a big really difference. find anything. I thought it was just a girl that he, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm done. Like, that's not like my girl right now type of thing. Uh, I think I think they are still together as far as I know. Oh, then that's messed up. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> if it was his ex, I'd be like, yeah. Lacey Green. Remember Lacey? You know, I don't know, something. Yeah. But, but not your I current. get that. Yeah. I mean, Detroit fans, we've seen it before. They're not uh, upstanding citizens. Getting brawls, Detroit, and, man. Yeah, yeah. Some of the some of the worst in the league. Not as bad as Sixers fans, though. Like, Sixers fans, Miami fans. Who else? Yeah, Sixers Warrior in fans. Miami. War- Warriors. You know, the worst thing about Warriors is like it's just kids and like Asian Lopinos, dudes. Latinos. Yeah. Yeah. It's annoying. Just like yeah. <laughs> it's annoying because then I don't want to like Steph Curry, but I love Steph Curry because he's a great shooter. Like he made the game cool. You know, saying for shooters like me. But it's mm-hmm. like really a Filipino supporting. Like I try not to like keep it on the low, you know. Not let nobody know. Well, Philly fans have uh, changed the narrative on Jokic, mm. and I think Jokic is becoming the most hated player in the NBA. Really? If not, who is? Like in terms of superstars. That isn't LeBron because LeBron has has like an equal Kyrie. share, right? You think Kyrie? I think Kyrie's liked by a lot of people, though. Oh, like NBA players or like just in yeah. general, like the public? I know. I think of like the public and like bro, the media. I know some fucking like a lot of people. Like I know this kid, bro. He's a he's like a he's a Russian Jew, man. He's a little kid, bro, and you know. I was like, yo, a lot of people like Kyrie, like young kids, you know? And he was like, nah, mm-hmm. fuck Kyrie. And I was like, is it because you're Jewish? I should have asked him. And he mm-hmm. was like, not even. And I was like, you know you lie, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. He said some shit, bro. <laughs> you can let it out. I I think that, so the narrative that has flipped in about two weeks of Jokic mm-hmm. now, uh, you know, Embiid is now the leading 
front runner for MVP, kind of like a oh I'm sorry Embiid here's an MVP type of MVP award. Um, and the media has like we've we've seen with like Kendrick Perkins and others uh, making every excuse in the book to hate on Jokic, and he doesn't do anything though. He's like it's just a chill ass dude that likes to race horses. Yeah. Play Pokemon. So I think that from the sole basis of like there's nothing to hate him for, he's the most hated player in the NBA. Steve, what do you think is one thing that you could actually hate Jokic about? Like one thing that I could hate about Jokic? Uh, I mean I I can't think of anything. You know, like maybe maybe he could get more assists. I know I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just stop overcompensating yeah, with the wedding ring on his shoe. Nah, I just mm. I, I don't. It's cheater, bro. That shit. I mean, that's that's risky. Off. <laughs> that's risky. <laughs> that, I, don't, yeah. I don't think that that's weird. Well, that's just risky, man. Like well, you I'm jealous of someone and how just flies off. He mm. does get a lot of kicked balls. He has the lead league in, in kicked balls uh, like yeah. by a large amount. Um, <laughs> for him that he's willing to take that risk. That for real? There. But if I yeah, had to no, choose like, something. First place is him with like fucking 47 kickball violations. Second place is like in the teens or 20s. Does he be doing the, what, like the That's defensive defense. kick? Yeah, it's like yeah. it's to stop Soccer. the whole setup of the offense. They have to reset every time he does it. That's good though. I would do that, but I feel like I would stray my groin. It's smart. You do it. Right. It's hard to time for me. I don't play soccer because then they don't go down low. Yeah, like they don't pass smart. down low. Then they're gonna part, pass up high, and then boom, here's the fucking bare hands. That's what yeah. I tell my guys, man. At, in the Filipino league, by the way, we have winner go home this weekend on uh, March the nineteenth, basically. So mm-hmm. I tell my guys, we have to utilize like breaks. You know, and like disruption of the defense, disruption of the offense, shit like that. But I don't know what I'm talking about. Do you think? Do <laughs> you like, think? So I should foul a three pointer shooter? I'll do that. Yeah. Stop the game. Anyway. <laughs> that was do just an think, example. I'm not calling anyone out. Go ahead. Do you think MB deserves MVP this year? No, absolutely not. But it is what it is. The NBA is an association. There's, you know, it's NBA is about making money. NBA is not about being fair. And to be Quite frankly, it's clear head and shoulders above everybody else that Jokic, uh, where the Nuggets are at, is the eye test for me or the stat test and the eye test of just what he does on the floor, watching him and the pass that he makes. And these are like low-key highlights for me. But like seeing these passes, he could have his own highlight reel, but it's just not as sexy as someone dunking on somebody. So the narrative has been already Joel Embiid, you know, someone else, preferably, well, I'm not going to say someone else. Yeah, yeah. Totally I mean, I'm, I'm completely fine with someone else winning MVP because I'm done with that whole shit. Like, I don't. I still don't think that the worst fans in the NBA, of Philadelphia, will like stop harassing after MVP after MB gets his MVP. Um, just because that's who they are, they just thrive off that negativity. So, I don't know if it stops anything, but fuck it, just make them happy for fucking. One thing I care about the playoffs. I care about MVP. Two different levels. So out of all the ESPN or like you know just like the public pundits or just the public <clears throat> announcers, journalists, who do you think side or who are the ones other than like Kendrick Perkins decide with like an Embiid over you? Uh, type of deal? Nick Wright. Uh, for oh. One, I would probably say Jay Williams. Um, I would go with probably like a Colin Cowherd. Uh, <laughs> Skip Bayless. The roster uh, from hell. This is yeah. This is all this, trash. It's the worst one. All trash. It, it, that is Jay that's Williams. Just how it goes though. Yeah. yeah, all of them are ass, bro. Sorry. Yeah, I'm surprised they all get votes. That's yes. It's tough, man. They should give me a vote. I'll actually be unbiased. Who'd you vote for? You know, because no, <laughs> you vote, you vote one, two, three, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd probably vote Jokic and be Giannis. Yeah, that's if what it was. were like, you know, if Jokic sits out for the rest of the season or some shit happens or like he just doesn't play well, then it could easily go and be Jokic Giannis. I think In it's what, close. 
in what situation would you put Jokic out of it, though? If they lose a lot, if they're not a top two seed at the end of the season, I think that that's, oh. that's I don't know if that's going to happen at this point, but yeah, that's, that's where I would uh, draw Got the it. line. Got it. That makes sense, though. That makes sense. I feel like uh, for me, it's definitely Jokic, um, hands down. Who would your two and three be? Luca. Nah, I'd probably, it'd probably be the same uh, one, two, three as you. Yeah. If I was being serious about it, if They're I wanted to just fuck around, I'd put Luca in that bitch. I got to say this, like, Embiid plays for the MVP, right? Uh, in a way. And you think of, like, the top three players in the NBA, best players in the NBA. Do you throw Embiid in there, though? Yeah, I mean, the top three players or the top yeah, three just centers? Yeah, like just the best players in the NBA. Yeah, bro, that's a big one. You know what I'm saying? No, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't, man, you know, because he's a top three center for sure, but he's not a top three player, Yeah, you know, in, in my in my, in my my book, I think. And to be fair, I don't know if I would put Jokic, Giannis, like, top three either, like, in terms of just a uh, basketball player. I mean, he's so smart, and he knows I that. would. But athleticism also comes into a part of it. You think of like someone that's Le- like LeBron, who's you know smart as fuck too, but also athletic. I would and do like Giannis, Jokic, and Luca. <laughs> Luca, I mean Luca is totally arguable. He's know. like a top three player in the NBA right now. I think. Yeah. Like the, Tatum. when there was like prime James Harden, like it was unarguable that he was not top three, and Luca's yeah. in that same situation. So. I would I put Tatum there. I would put if you, you know put Tatum Steph- top three. No, I'm saying like t- top five maybe. Okay. I'd like because top three is interchangeable. Like I would <clears throat> if I was to choose, you know, not Luca. I think t- I would put Tatum over Luca to be honest, bro. Just because of the, mm. the team, you know, like he knows more how to work with the Celtics. Or maybe the Celtics got better pieces. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's the Eastern Conference folk, and I don't see him a whole lot. But yeah, I don't. I don't Tatum. You don't. Tatum still like uh, top ten, but not top five for me. Because of Jalen Brown, I don't know if it's necessarily because of anyone. It's just uh, he has games every once in a while where he scores twelve points, and top five players in the league don't do that without doing at least something else. Yeah, I would never forget him in the finals, man. That dude disappeared. Jalen yeah. Brown took took reins. That was yeah. weird. Yeah. He said he got. He texted Kobe, and he said Kobe said, <laughs> "Lose my fucking number." <laughs> yeah. uh, well, speaking of Celtics, uh, in the whole Eastern Conference, we predicted was it second, ep- second or third yeah. episode, something like that, where you predicted the standings for the end of the year. We're pretty much there. <laughs> um. So we got. <laughs> Yeah, we got our predictions from the beginning of the year, and we're going to compare it. Because uh, last time that we compared, you said it's too early to say. <laughs> I think it's too late for that now. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a I visual? Think, can we, do we have a visual of the actual standings? Is there a way you uh, could pull you could it up? Probably, you could probably pull it up on like just Google. Google will have it if you just yeah, put it. NBA, NBA standings. standings. Um, but yeah, go ahead, uh, Bake. What do you yeah. think about this? Well, so my I'll start with my Eastern Conference. And we just did the top eight. Um, okay. And I had Celtics, Bucks, Sixers, That's Heat, good. <laughs> Cavs, uh-huh. Nets, Hawks, Bulls. Bulls Damn. are ass. Bulls did not work at all. And that's why we, I said at some point, I remember making a thumbnail for this shit, but I said, blow it up. Uh, got to blow up the bulls. And uh, I think they, 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 they got to do with this off season. Lonzo is all fucked up too. So here's what the actual Eastern conference standings are. Bucks. So bucks instead of Celtics, Celtics, uh, instead of bucks, Sixers right on, uh, I had Heat at four. It's the Cavs. Heat are the seven. Um, then we got 
the Knicks. Knicks. Neither one of us had the Knicks in there. And the Knicks, big surprise this year. I don't. Jalen Brunson, man. I didn't believe in Jalen Brunson. I still don't believe he's going to do shit in the playoffs. I'm just going to put it out there like that. I mean, yeah, Brunson's great, man, but it's not. You don't got the same closers as you do with Luka in the Mavs, bro. You're going to be have to be that guy. I don't think you're that guy, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. So the, RJ I'm going Barrett on record. sucks, too. I'll yeah. There's that. a lot. And Randall, there's a lot of people out there that should be taking less shots, in my opinion, letting Brunson cook. But mm. it is what it is. That's why they're not going to win this year. But if Brunson is going off the main guy, then they might have a chance. But if it's like someone like Randall, I don't believe you're a fucking Julius Randall. Yeah, Julius Randall. Hell no. Nah. Bro, that's all-star fluke, bro. This is <laughs> he's he's not good. And Knicks fans have hated him for like three years. Yeah. Even though he's an all-star, it just proves how bad he is. Um number six, we got the Nets. Uh obviously we ha- I had Nets at I had Nets at number six, uh, so that's correct. Hawks, uh, I had at number seven, but it's actually the Heat. Uh, and then number eight is the Hawks, which I had the Bulls. So I had all the right teams, except I had the Bulls instead of the Knicks. Bulls instead of the Knicks, damn. I had a couple off, I think. Uh, yeah, you had you had a good... Uh, so let's well, try mine. It's not, not, well, it's not too bad. So Bulls, number one. And <laughs> Bulls, aren't, Bulls aren't even in the picture. For number two, we got the Bucks. And books were number one. So that's mm-hmm. incorrect. Sixers, I got. Um, wait, yeah. did I? Yeah, we both, got, we both got sixes, right? All right. And he, I put number four, but they're really number seven. Uh, and then I put uh, Celtics, number five. Celtics, okay. number five. That was the one that really I, number uh, two. I was going after you for that. I was like, really? And, and you said it was because the coach and hey. no it's just worked out at um, shout out to Joe Mazuma, Mazumi, whatever your Zula. name is, Mazula, Mazula. He's a 34 year old head coach in the NBA. I will be 34 this year. Um, not yet though. Okay. So I'm only 33, but he's one year older than me. He's a head coach of the Celtics. I not once did this, that I think that anyone could do better than he may, or maybe it was mm-hmm. going to be a Mark Jackson, Steve Kerr transition where Mark yep. Jackson basically teed him up. So yeah, that was my bad. Uh, but number six is Toronto, and that's really number nine. Uh, Brooklyn, yeah. number seven. They were really number six. And then I had the Hawks at eight. So Got that one yeah, right. the, the big thing for me, bro, is I really thought that Vucevic would step up for the Bulls. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and because I thought he was the all-star. Wasn't he, he an all-star? Off. Yeah, no, he, he was an all-star. He fell off after he left Orlando. Yeah, he fell off for sure. That didn't translate. Um, Orlando, thought, he had the reins, so. though. Like, yeah, he did. He was the guy. He was definitely the guy. And I really thought that the glue of it all that could at least con- contribute to making sure that everyone eats offensively, i.e. Levine and DeMar DeRozan, Lonzo Ball has been out again. I really thought he was going to come back this year. Yeah. I really, I really thought that. And this is unfortunate. This could be a Brandon Roy situation. Yeah, where it's they're rat. saying like Greg Golden. we never even like if you got doctors being like we never seen anything like this and it's like bro you're done. He, he probably he probably can't. I don't know, man. Maybe it's mental. Too. I don't know. The doctors, yeah, for sure. But maybe he didn't rehab. I don't know what he did. He did. He didn't do, bro. But yeah, he didn't do rehab or some shit like he's supposed to. He fucked it up. Fucked it up. Yeah, the Ball Brothers just cursed. Yo. Um. Yeah. So then the Western Conference. Uh, I had, hey, I got the first one right. Denver Nuggets oh right my there. God, how the four and a half <laughs> game lead? This is bad at the man. end of the year. Uh, then I had the Warriors number two, but they are number six. They just have been so bad on the road. Like, look at that home record for the Warriors: twenty nine and seven. Amazing road seven and twenty eight. What are they doing? That's god awful. They're doing some John Morant shit out there. They are yeah. hitting up strip clubs. They are clubbing. They are fucking staying out late. They're cheating. Doing coke. They're Steph Curry's cheating on, on Aisha. Yeah. Well, maybe it's Mew Thompson. Oh, yeah. Swingers. Maybe Clay Thompson smashed Aisha. Aisha and Steph Curry just watched. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cuck. <laughs> Steph Cucky. 
<laughs> a sad cookie for three. Uh, <laughs> oh, Clay, um, baby. And then I had the I had the Grizzlies number three, which is correct. Um, I had the Suns number four, which is correct. Oh, and then I had the Mavs number five. Ooh, what happened? Mavs, Mavs are number eight. We, we're gonna be number five. Don't it. worry. Yeah, I mean, you could. I would love yeah. a Mavs versus Nuggets first rounder though. Oh, it'd that be would be so real. much fun, bro. I think it, I think I would put money on that shit. Yeah, Lots you want to, we go to the game. We almost got it last year, but then like came down the last couple games. And didn't get it. Um, and then we got I got the Wolves at what is that? Seven, Number six. I had the Wolves at six. Uh, they are at seven. I had the Clippers at uh, seven. Clippers surprisingly number five. I didn't think that they were doing that good, but I guess not. They might move uh, up, to be honest. Then Pelicans were out of the picture because Zion, fat ass, can't fucking lay off the Doritos <laughs> and fucking injure himself. That jambalaya. That's that jambalaya. He's got, he's got the ben, beignets. Uncle Ben's. Oh, yeah, the beignets. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben's <laughs> rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going crazy down there, man. That's too bad. It's too bad. <laughs> the Booyah base. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for me, I had the Mavericks number one, the Warriors number eight. So <laughs> the, the, the Warriors number two, they're number six. If you just flip mine, it's probably mm-hmm. be better. Um, yeah, it's Grizz, not too bad. Grizzlies, uh, I didn't know. I didn't have that. I had the well. Yeah, I had the Grizzlies yeah, number yeah, three. Grizzlies, yep. Nuggets number four. Um, Wolves number five, which is the Wolves are number seven, and the Clippers number six. Clippers are five, and Pelicans seven, and then the Suns. Um, so all sorts of fucked up. <laughs> so I think really like the Kings but the being number are two. The, yeah, that's the only is the big surprise of the year. Um, yeah. So that was like what threw us through a loop here because both of us had the Pelicans instead of the Kings. So yeah. in both conferences, we really only missed by one team in terms yeah. of determining the top eight. So we're not doing too bad. But your order right. was, I could admit, man, your order is definitely way more accurate than mine. Mine had a little... Uh, like the Bulls was a weird one. The Mavericks Bulls, being number Mavericks. one. Yeah. I mean, so, okay, now it's going to be the play-ins, right? In a couple weeks. Um, yeah. What, two weeks, maybe? So, I it's, think it's number yeah, 10? I think it's next 10, month. Mm-hmm. Next month. So, the 10th seed is going to play in the play-ins, right? 10, 10 and 9? 10 and, and eight. 8. No, so seven, it's right? 10 and 7. Damn. And then 8 and 9. And then there's some rule about, like, the 7 seed has, like, a... Uh, I think they they have essentially a second chance. Uh, well, if they lose, yeah. Let me look at the. That's wild. Bracket. A sneak. Can you go on to the Western standings real quick? So you said seven plays ten. So seven right now. That if the playoffs start right now, the T Wolves will play the Thunder and the Mavericks. Wait. And the okay. Lakers. Here we go. So the ninth and tenth place play each other. Winner of nine and ten, winner of that game goes on to play the loser between seventh and eighth, which will be us. So, seven and eighth actually play each other, it's not, it's not uh, seven and ten, so nine and ten. And then the winner of that game, right? What is this? What the fuck? Winner of that game goes to the eighth seed. No, the winner goes to the seventh seed, and then the loser goes to the eighth so, seed. Oh, so if you your top eight, you're still in. Yeah. Well, if you're top, yes, yes. If you're top eight, you're still in. You just if you're seven, you get fucked. Uh, if you lose, if you're eight, I mean, you just stay in the same place. That's like, sick. That's the first time I understood that. To be honest. Bro, the way that they laid this out is so terrible. Hold on. I got to see. God, why would they do that? Winner. Well, I mean, the top eight is still the top eight. That's kind of the big deal, right? No one can really jack them unless. Wait, what about what? Hold on. I I can't remember how this works, but I got to. 
I gotta see it in writing. I'm gonna try to find it in writing. Nope, they just have fucking shit that makes no sense. Um, yeah, you look you look for that, but just to comment on this, if we do get a Nuggets and Mavericks one and eight, we have to find tickets. Would you find tickets? Yeah, we even if it's all the, I, yeah, I would love to go. Even if I'm all the way to the top, I've never yeah. been to a playoff game. I want to be there for the energy. It's gonna be so fun. Playoff game is so much fun. Yeah, it's so awesome. Dope. Okay, here we go. The seventh and eighth play each other. The winner of that earns the seventh seed automatically. Uh, the winner between the nine and tenth seed then plays the loser of the seven and eight seed. And then the winner of that game earns the eighth seed. Oh, nah, that's not good. And the fucking way that they laid out the bracket makes no sense until I read it in writing. That is. Do you agree with it now oh. or no? Yeah, I mean, that means everybody has a chance. You know? Yeah. Seven yeah. is like you're safe. Basically. Like if you're the, if you're in the top. Well, no, if you're in the top, if you're seven and eight, you have a second chance, essentially. That's what it comes down to. You can play oh. again. Like if you lose the first game, then you play again and you can still make it in the playoffs. But got it. And oh yeah, so seven and eighth get two games basically, and the ninth and tenth get one and you're done. Um yes. Does ninth and tenth have to earn have to win two games to get into the playoffs? Whereas the seven and eight That's only have one. to win one. Yeah. yeah. That's the That's simplest fair. way to load out, lay it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you look at this right here, from four all the way to 10, it's like th- well, it's close. five. Let's do like five or six. Yeah, it's very close. Look at that. I don't know how many games are left. Maybe like 10? Uh, yeah, I think it was like 10 or 12. Like 12 that. games? That's yeah, it's 12, lot, 12 for the Nuggets at least. Yeah. Oh, great. So, because 47 plus 23, that is 20, that's 60, it's 70. Yeah, 12. Look at fucking the Clippers, man. They're on fire right now. Last time they're five and five. Oh, but they've won four in a row. Yeah. Beating up a little bit. Bones Highland, maybe. (laughs) Hell no, he sucks. (laughs) Reggie Jackson ain't even playing for us, bro. He's so bad. They're probably going to cut him right. Well, after the season's over, yeah. After the season. Okay. Yeah. I think we're probably good, right? Yeah, we're at like an hour and ten. Okay, perfect. Well, Suns fourth seed. Uh fuck them. Fuck the fourth seed. Fuck the Suns. Fuck Devin Booker. Fuck the Suns. I'm, a, I'm a fucking bad bunny fan now. Bad bunny, fuck the Suns. Alright, see you. Peace. Peace.